a very good morning students welcome to the olympiad classes okay so we are going to start with ngk olympiad classes today in our first class of olympiad i miss pinky gaur mrs pinky gaur is going to teach you about igq olympiad from your workbook okay let us begin with our first chapter we have five chapters in our olympiad let us begin with it okay the first chapter over here is plants and animals second is earth and uh, it's about earth and its environment third chapter is science and technology the fourth chapter consists universe fifth chapter is about india and the world sixth chapter is about social social studies okay and the fourth cha for a uh, seventh chapter is language and literature eighth chapter is entertainment ninth is about sports tenth quantitative aptitude and reasoning eleventh is life skill and the twelfth is about current affairs so basically i'm going to teach all the chapters one by one and will i'll give you the mcq questions of these chapters so let us begin with the chapters right now okay we are coming with the first chapter of mcq that is plants and animals let us see what is plants and animals okay <clears throat> the first question it is a major cereal grain grown in temperate climate it was one of the first cultivated grain in eurasia celebration lessi and legacy a few of its six row melting varieties so identify the crop so we have to identify the crop what are the options option a is maize b is barley c is millet and d is rice so here as we are seeing it is a temperate climate it grows in a temperate climate it is grows in a temperate climate okay we are seeing over here it is a grows in a temperate climate so our answer it was grown first cultivated grains so our answer for this question is for this question is maize is barley number b it's barley okay it's the option for this correct answer is option b barley coming to the second question the group of animals is warm blooded their bodies are covered with hair or fur they give birth to young ones that are carried in a pouch and produce milk what are they called so we have to find the groups of animals which is a warm blooded okay so warm blooded animals options we are going to see option a marsupials b ungulates c equines d cirrhophytes okay so our answer for question number 2 is a marsupials marsupials okay coming to the third question after a mother bird lays eggs she must warm them till the hatch till they hatch okay you know na that when the egg is you have seen na that hen is sitting on the egg so for what so that that it it gets warm and it uh, is for few days they sit on their eggs and they lay after that the small baby from the egg comes out so this is the way the bird lay eggs she must be warm till they are hatch okay till they are hatch what is the time for laying egg into the hatching of the egg call so what is that time that is known as like they have a period of 21 days or that a different birds have different time period so basically that time period is known as what option a gestation period option b incubation period option c quarantine period option d procrastination period so here don't go for option c quarantine because quarantine we people get quarantine 
okay it is option b where incubation is incubation period option b incubation period okay coming to the fourth part that is fourth question the bark of chinkaona tree is medicinally active containing a variety of alkaloids like quinine and quinidine which are used to cure certain diseases okay which of the following diseases can be cured using quinine okay so using quinine which are the uh, <clears throat> which are the diseases let me see options are given a malaria b dengue c pen pneumonia d diabetes so it is quinine so quinine is cured malaria is cured by quinine malaria is cured by quinine okay using quinine malaria is cured okay at the period of hatching incubation okay remember these things okay then coming to question number 5 the smallest fox lives in the desert smallest fox okay we are talking about smallest fox okay okay the smallest fox lives in a desert of north africa it has large ears and radiate body heat and help keep the fox cool name the animal name the animal so smallest fox who lives in a desert of north africa north africa it has large ears that radiate body heat and help keeps the fox cool that is let us see the options option a fine fence fox option b red fox option c gray fox option d kit fox so it is basically a fence fox okay it is basically a fence fox okay finick fox finick fox okay okay who lives in north Af north africa okay coming to question number 6 who among these children gave an incorrect statement okay let us see option a ria a banana plant has green soft stem it is a herb okay number b amit watermelon is a climber it is a climber plant with weak stems that cannot stand upright okay c saurav maize wheat and barley are plants with fibrous fibrous root okay number d priya stem leaves buds and flowers are indulged in the shoot system of the plant so basically it is a creeper plant okay number b amit is amit is giving a incorrect statement amit is giving a incorrect statement okay over here then the seventh one animals like owl and bad girls which are active during night bad girls is a type of bat okay are said to be nocturnal nocturnal what are the animals that active to light call okay now what are the animals that are active to light call option a diurnal option b crepuscular option c matutinal option d vespertine so here we know that crepuscular is an animal that is during to light call means they are day time and active during day time also and active during night time also okay to light question number 8 we are coming to question number 8 the fruits of the tree is green and succulent and and is high in oil content and is high in oil content the fruit of this tree is green the fruit of this tree is green <coughs> tree is green and succulent and high in oil content its oil is very healthy cooking medium okay soil is very healthy cooking medium the 
Branch of this tree is symbol of peace. Which of the tree is it? Okay, symbol of peace. Which of the tree is it is? We know A is mango, B is olive, C is fig and D is eucalyptus. So, answer for this is olive. Olive green tree. We have known a olive green tea. Okay. So, olive. You can see this olive. Olive oil. Okay. It is very good oil. We know that olive oil is from, uh, from olive trees. So, olive oil is very good he healthy oil. Okay. That we should have. We should not use the safola and all. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> then, Then we have a next question number nine. Okay. Just wait a minute. Okay. Number nine. Okay. Some dog breed have more potential to cause injuries than other breeds and thus they are said to be dangerous. Which among the following is the most dangerous breed of dogs? So which among the most dangerous breed of dogs? That are number option A is Siberian Husky, option B is German Shepherd, option C is Pitbull, and option D is Rottweiler. Siberian Husky is also a, a small, a good, good dog. Okay, German Shepherd is also not, not at all. They are not at all risky. And option D, option C, Pitbull. Yes, Pitbull. Pitbull is very, very dangerous dog. Okay, pit bull is very, very dangerous dog. Let me cover you so that you can understand what I am taking. Option C. Okay, then coming to question number 10. Okay, sharks are killer of the deep seas. We know that sharks are very dangerous, they kill. Okay, which of the following is a characteristics of shark? So, which are the following? They are bony, they are cartilages. Cartilaginous, they are mostly warm blooded, the gill cells are covered. So, the correct, they are cartilaginous, they are cartilaginous. Okay. Okay. Then we are coming to the next question, that is question number 11. Okay. Some plants have medical values. Medicinal values that can cure ailments, reshuffle the letters to get the name of the plant and select the incorrect match from the following. So, we have to select the incorrect match from the following. Plant and ailment it cures. Okay. So, you will see. Valkoi to take. Okay, you came in indigestions, habneer ja hair losses, D, none of these. Yes, Volcone is to take right. So, incorrect is number D. Option number D, none of these is incorrect. None of these is incorrect. Okay, let us see question number 12. This nut can be sweet or bitter. Its oil is used in cosmetic aromatherapy and in making marzipan. USA is the top producer of it. Name the nut. So, aromatherapy and its oil. So, we know that if we have almost, we know always pine nut, no. Ground nut, no. Cashew nut, no. Almond oil, we have, we we say, you know, our mother say, do massage in the winter season. We do massages with almond oil, batoli oil. Okay. So, these are very good almond oil. Okay. Almond oil is very good. Sorry. Wait a minute. Okay. Almond oil. Question number 13 we are coming to have. <clears throat> what is the common character of organism listed below? Let us see. Option A, they all live in water. They all lack backbone. They all have scales on their body. They all lay eggs. Okay. 
so ant spider octopus amoeba starfish what are the common thing among them what are the common thing among them is the all lack backbones and also spider octopus am, amoeba 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 starfish they don't have backbones they don't have so option b is the correct answer okay then coming to question number 14 we have question number 14 these crustaceans or crustaceans or animals which with hard shells are called decapods which mean they have 10 legs the one pair of legs have enlarged pincers which have which help them grab and tear their food which of the following is decapod so which of the following is a decapod okay so let us see a grass hop hopper b lobster c spider d octopus according to me answer is b lobster who has 10 legs they have 10 legs one pair of legs are in last okay just you see the uh, picture of lobster you will get to know many of you eat also lobsters okay so number 15 when you go to water uh, water places like the gamindar mani or andaman nikopar you go there you have you variety of seafoods you get and you got lobsters also bengalis are very fan of eating lobsters na okay number 15 these camels have two humps and have shaggy coat okay these camels we are talking about camels which help them keep out the bitter cold wind of the mongolian okay mongolian desert where they live what are these camels called so what are these camels called let us see a bacterians b lamas c alpacas and d dromedary so it is the answer will be that is a bacterians a bacterians we have come to know that a bacterians is a right answer okay then we'll go to question number 16 rodents are small animals with robust body short limbs and long tail rats squirrels porcupines beaverages and guanine pigs or are rodents they use their sharp ex to gnaw foods excavate burrows and defend themselves identify that ex okay what are the sharp ex to grow to gnaw foods what are the things what are the ex identified over here a is claws b we are doing question number 16 okay b is incisors okay c in uh, incisor C is piculus, D is morals. So, no claw, claws are not used for claws are not a type of food which can be. Uh, <coughs> they are not sharp at all. Okay, so incisor, scissor like a scissor is sharp now. So here like incisor is also a sharp. So we have answer that is option number B. Option number B is our correct answer. Okay, then coming to question number seventeen. the huge cactus is pleated like an like an accordion and expands as it soaks up water its flower is the state wild flower of arizona identify it so like a wild flower it is so what are the that uh, flower is known as peyote prickly pear sagwar and mesquite so here answer is it is a sagwar type of things okay <clears throat> coming to question number 18 these trees are massive and can grow to a height of 50 to 84 meter with a circumference of 20 to 30 feet the wood was used mainly for shy shingles and fence post or even for 
making math sticks the largest of them is called general sherum which is lo located in california which trees are we talking about so which we trees are talking about that are called general Sh sherman uh, general sherman also known as sequo cedar option c pine option d maple so it is located in the california so california most probably sequoia is sequoia sequoia is done okay sequoia type of we are talking about sequoia trees we are talking about okay okay coming to question number 19 the tails of many monkeys are said to be prehensile what does the word prehensile means okay prehensile the tails of the monkey okay a long b capable of grasping c furry d beautiful some has short also okay we can't talk about the, the option a is wrong okay option b capable of grasping it is almost right we are thinking but it is does it furry no it is not furry it is not beautiful so here option b is the correct answer option b is the correct option b is the correct answer okay i hope if you can see this correctly option b okay okay now question number 20 we have come about okay the change in the heritable traits of plants and animals over successive generation is called dash okay so a successful generation means successive generation means one after the other successive generation is called the dash so what we have for a we have domestication domestication b evolution c gestation d extinction so here the answer is option number b evolution okay plants we got about evolution option b okay okay if we talk about animals that is domestications okay which of the following statement is true about the rain frosts so we'll see which rain frosts which is the following element an estimated 50% of terrestrial biodiversity is found in the rain forest rain forests okay okay number b most rain forest trees are covered with <clears throat> covered with epiphytes attached to trunk and branches of trees and absorb moisturizer from the surroundings no it's not correct over 2000 types of plants okay number b is also correct over 2000 plant types of plants found in the rainforest can be used to help in cancer treatment due to the anti cancer properties yes so option d all of these is the correct answer for 21 number question 22 the vernacularable the vulnerable species exclusively 99% feeds on bamboo it is found in china it has large distinctive black patches around its eyes okay over the ears and across the round body name the species so type of thing is feed on the bamboo so it feed on it is stuck on the bamboo it is found in china the large distinctive black patches on its eyes okay so let us see a raccoon no raccoon raccoon is also having a black eyes but it is not a bamboo stuck okay giant otter no giant panda somewhat panda is also black 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 na and it is stuck in the you have seen na in the uh, bamboo tree it is uh, it is hugging the bang, bamboo tree some uh, when you see the images okay well, i think it's, it's option c giant panda d brown eared pigeon no brown eared pigeon brown we are not talking about we are talking about black so here option c is the correct answer giant panda.